from Fast Tech. In this video, we're gonna be replacing the thermal paste on this Xbox One S. The factory thermal paste that Microsoft uses is very crappy to say the least. So we're gonna be replacing that paste today with Arctic Silver 5 and we sell this on our website. We also sell Thermal Grizzly, which um, some people consider that to be a little bit better. Um, and it is a little bit more expensive. So if you wanna use that instead, we also sell that. We also have liquid cooling options. So if you wanna liquid cool your Xbox One S, check out our website at fasttechstore.com. Links are gonna be in the description. We're gonna be taking everything out of this Xbox to get this done. Let's get started. You're gonna need our Fasttech Pro Toolkit to disassemble your Xbox. We sell this on our website. Links are gonna be in the description box. You can use the coupon code YouTube for a discount. To take this Xbox apart, we're gonna flip it over at the back. All right, there's gonna be a sticker on the right side here. We're gonna remove this sticker with a knife. If you're looking for a knife, we also sell these on our website. In some countries, this is the warranty sticker. So if you're removing this, know that if you have any warranty, you will lose it. But at the time I'm making this video in 2021, this 2017 Xbox One S does not have a warranty. You're gonna remove the adhesive first. There's tape here. We're gonna remove that. And then there's gonna be adhesive around this tab. You can run your blade you can run your knife through here just to get that off. Then we're gonna stick our knife in here and gently lift up the plate away. All right, now that we've gotten this clip off, now we're gonna stick the knife in the side here. And we're just gonna pry the bottom the bottom part of the case off like that. And then you're gonna hear the clip disengage. There's a couple of more here and a few more here. And now we're just gonna lift it up and it's gonna come right up. And we're gonna be removing all the screws. These are T10s. Uh, we sell the screwdriver on our website and I would recommend our FastTech Pro Toolkit, which includes not only the T8, T10 that you need, but all other kinds of bits that you can disassemble all other kinds of electronics with, including iPhones, laptops, you name it. It even has bits you can open up McDonald's toys with. So sky's the limit. Check out the links in the description and you can use the coupon code YouTube for a discount. We're gonna remove these screws. black screws that hold the heat sink in, we're gonna need a T8. Now we got all the screws removed. We're gonna get the console like that. We're gonna look at the back and we're gonna take the case off by lifting up the sides. 
and then just lifting up, lifting it up like that. And that's gonna come off. Now we're gonna lift this part of the case off. It's gonna come off. We're gonna remove the front on and off button and the RF board. We're gonna remove these Torx T8 screws that hold it in. Now we're gonna lift the board out like that. That's gonna come off. Next, we're gonna remove the network card on the side. This is the network adapter, also the Bluetooth chip. We're gonna remove the network chip by removing the T8 screws that hold it in. that next we're going to remove the hard drive we're going to lift it out there's two cables underneath the power cable we're going to remove that and the SATA cable we're both they're both we're going to be able to pull them out both then we're going to lift out the disk drive there's two cables that hold it in again the power cable and a SATA cable. We're gonna lift them both out. Next, we're gonna remove the power supply. We should be able to just lift it out at this point. All the screws have been removed. There's a clip underneath here on the plug. We're gonna push the, we're gonna press this tab on the clip with our pry tool that's included in the FastTech toolkit. We're gonna push that clip down and then pull out the connector, it's gonna come out. Next, we're gonna remove the fan. There's a plastic piece at the front. We're gonna get that out of the way. It just lifts out. It's got these ridges. Then we're gonna remove the fan. There's a connector on the fan. We can pull it out like that, wiggle and pull. The fan is held in by these clips that hold onto the heat sink. We can lift them up with a knife. The fan should come off. If you get one side off, the other side's gonna come off automatically. Now we're gonna take the motherboard out. There is a piece at the front here that holds the USB port in. We're gonna lift it up and remove it. Now that that piece is out of the way, we're gonna get the motherboard out. We're gonna grab it by the heat sink and it should just lift out like that. That's the Xbox One S motherboard right there. This is the center chassis for the Xbox One S. So that's our motherboard. That's the south bridge right there. These are the RAM chips. Under this heat sink is our APU chip. And that's what we're trying to get at. So we're gonna remove this heat sink to get to the APU chip. For this part, we're gonna get one of the flatheads out of our kit. I'm gonna grab this one. And we're gonna remove this X clamp. And to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert our screwdriver right here. And you're gonna gently lift it up. You wanna be very careful here because there's very sensitive components here. You don't wanna mess up. So you're gonna pry it off gently. Like that, it's gonna come off. 
Same thing here. And then once you get three of them off, the other one you can just lift up and the X clamps removed. Now the, the heat sink should come off. If it doesn't, you can just push down on the heat sink and it'll come off. Let's take a look at the factory thermal paste here. This is complete junk. This is the same kind of stuff they used to use in the Xbox 360. And we all know what happened with that. This is really crappy stuff. We're gonna take it off the APU chip and we're gonna remove it off the heat sink. And we're gonna apply a fresh coat of Arctic Silver 5. If you wanna use Thermal Grizzly Noctua instead, we sell that too and link's gonna be in the description box. So we're gonna remove the thermal paste with Arctic Clean. If you don't have Arctic Clean, we sell Arctic Clean as well. Link's in the description. Uh, you can use some rubbing alcohol if, uh, if you don't wanna buy Arctic Clean or if you don't have it. So we're gonna apply some Arctic Clean on this. We're gonna wipe it off and we're gonna apply our new thermal paste. Once you've cleaned off the old thermal paste, you should get a mirror finish like that. And the heat sink should look like this. Now we're gonna apply the new thermal paste on the APU chip. You don't wanna apply too much, just about that much. And then we're gonna spread it around. That's what your end result should look like. Then we're gonna put the heat sink back on. Like that. And then we're gonna put the X clamp back on. To get it back on, you're gonna hook one side in on the clamp. And on the opposite side, you're gonna pry it back on, kind of like we, how we took them off but this time we're gonna be pushing it down as we do it. And just like that, it's gonna lock in. We got one side in, now we gotta do the other side. Pry and then push it down. And now finally this side. And then push it down. And our X clamps back on. And now we're gonna reassemble the console. How we disassembled it but in reverse thanks for watching don't forget to click the like button if this helped you out subscribe to our channel to get more content and i'll catch you in the next one